Hello and welcome back to Divinity Divinity Original Sin 2, the definitive edition. In the last episode, we slaughtered Griff's crime gang right here. Uh, we have basically cleared out everything uh, that we can in Fort Joy. Just gonna pick up the last few little pieces. Well done. And then we're gonna go do the arena. And the arena should be a lot of fun. The best you helped me. You saved me from a terrible man. But still hear me. Yep. Sahela. Uh-huh. She is she is it is for yep. all uh -huh. me your Oh, man. sorry, sorry. I'm not supposed to be skipping dialogue. I show you My bad. a secret. Dangerous. But it leads to freedom. I give you this amulet. Thank you. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. She is important. I go to her. I wish you good luck, and I thank you for us all. Yeah, I killed her, so... Sorry, fam. I don't feel good about that, but it had to happen. So, that elf, the blind elf in the cave, um, that Losa was having that very strange demonic interaction with uh, a while back, is important to that guy for some reason. She's some sort of leader of her people, but we slaughtered her like a veal calf in the last episode, so, you know, there's that. Oh, her name is Yaro. Oh, the guy's daughter's name is Yarrow. That's why he was looking for the Yarrow. Oh, nice chest. I spotted something. Oh. Hole. I'm really glad I walked back over here. Uh, sorry, getting off topic. But yeah, we killed the elves, so that's why I was skipping through his dialogue so quickly. Um... Pretty sure this is the cave with the fire slugs in it. I don't want to be here yet. So we're gonna head back to the arena and go do a fun, challenging fight. I do feel prepared for it now. We are level four. We've got some decent weapons for both of our characters. Actually, probably best in slot at this point in the game. So we are good to go. And this, this should be fun. The head means Iowa, does it? I have to leave again because my tea exploded. Oh no! Did you know UGG came out with a throw blanket yet? It's soft. I don't know what... Oh, UG! UG came out with a throw blanket. I bet it's fucking super soft. Probably costs like $200 too. Mine aren't real Uggs. They're knockoff Uggs. I saw them at the store. And I was shopping with my roomies for girls day. And I was like, oh my gosh, those look so comfortable. And he was like, don't get those. Don't, don't, don't get those. And I was like, I'm going to get them. <laughs> Best decision ever. They're fuzzy. And it feels like kittens are rubbing against my ankles when I walk. And I'm down for that. So, that's a thing. Hello. I'd like to fight in your arena, please. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. Yes, Good. I want to fight. Who hates you? I take my party members. Okay, my nighttime tea is making me sleepy, leaving hopefully permanently. All right, Cass, if you can't sleep, you know where I'll be. 2.4 million echoes. Good night, Wolf. Good night, Exo. Thank you for chilling. All right, uh, we are up against a pack of four. They're actually only level three. Not terribly high defenses. Huh. I remember them being tougher than this. I still think we might force them to come to us. Let's just head over here. And then turn. I don't, don't want to have to charge into their lines. It seems painful. And turn. Okay, 
gave some magic armor to the dog. That's fine. Uh, we're just going to delay turn. Let them get a little bit closer. Perfect. Delay turn. Back to retreat. That's fine. Ouch. Still fine. Okay. The dog is closest, so we could kill the dog, but it's also probably the least threatening. So that's 3 AP there, 2 AP there. I can't battering ram at all. Let's go here. Hit the dog once, twice, knock it down and do some damage to all three of them. Then you are going to sneak over here, going to backstab, backstab on El Doggo. Ooh, your damage is way better than it was going to buff Losa with haste and peace of mind and then we are going to go invisible question mark why is it your turn again huh probably didn't need to go invisible then huh have you focus this chap and try and turn him into a chicken because he scares me let's go ahead and adrenaline get in one more attack break that physical armor and noise Gonna have you. you can't battering ram for some reason. Right there should hit them both. Somehow missed him. Fucking bullshit. But whatever, it's fine. Stop missing! Oh, you're blind. That's the problem. That's the problem. Oh, I forgot I got Battering Ram on you, too, so we can knock all three down with an excellent ram, if I do say so myself. And you are going to... One. Finish that one off. Let's just encourage. This was fucking easy. This on tactician mode? Pretty damn sure we're on tactician mode. I'm just that good, I guess. Well, Finish him. Easy. Nice. Wolfie, what should I level up next? Uh, what are your stats? Congratulations to our champion. What are your stats and what's your build? And your level. Give me the deets and I will give you my opinion. You may yet be the one. You prove yourself again. And a warrior traveling the path of the wand should not be collared like a pet. I suggest you see the Tinkerer. You are capable of so much more. I killed the Tinkerer? That's... that's my bad, fam. Hey! Upgrades! Helmet that does plus one to Scoundrel? Or those boots are nice, but I think I'm gonna take that Scoundrel helmet. Let's go ahead and equip that before I forget about it. Someone will get the guts. I deserve the glory. Did you learn your new scoundrel abilities? No, you didn't. Totally forgot to do that. So we got cloak and dagger. 
Is that all the scoundrel books I have? No, I have more. Rupture tendons and sawtooth knife. Uh, Rupture Tendons is really good, I think. Deals damage to target character. When they try to move, they will take piercing damage. So this you want to use with Chicken. Uh, because when the Chicken runs away, it'll actually deal lots of damage to them. Sawtooth Knife sets bleed. It's high base damage, throwing knife, that's just a ranged attack, cloak and dagger, that's just movement. I need more memory slots is what I need right now. Uh, but I think we are going to drop peace of mind temporarily for rupture tendons. Yes, that's fine with me. cannot hurry the one. Patience does not come step closer. Going for fuck it build, 60 vitality, 45 endurance, 45 strength, 45 dex, blood tinge, 45 arcane, 50. Uh, finish maxing out your uh, strength and dexterity up to finish, up to 50. You cannot hurry the one. And yes. Yeah, I'd get strength and endurance up to 50. Uh, what's your primary stat? What's your main weapon? What's your main weapon? Do we have any traitors in here? No. Alright, time to fight, fam. Time to fight. Let's go. Mm -hmm. So we are going to... Stab you once. I don't know why I did that. Uh, fuck, we're just gonna finish you off. I already started. Woo, baby, those crits are nice. Alright, one down. I definitely want to use the chicken combo. See how good it is. Ew, oil gross. You have a shit ton of armor. You have no armor. You have low armor. Five battering ram right here. Will it knock you both down? Not you, huh? That's fine. Let's just beat up this guy. Another one down. This is my main character. Uh, You know, fanfic meta. Let's see. So you use the burial blade. What was your other weapon? What I'm really trying to ask is, what scaling do your main weapons have? I don't necessarily remember what scaling weapons have off the top of their head. Because you're going to want to get those stats to 99. Like, if your weapon scales off of strength, get strength to 99. Because, you know, it's good. Let's go ahead and put haste on Losa. Um, but yeah, get your stats, get all your stats to 50 first, and then focus on getting skill to 99, and you should be very good. Let's hit him once. Let's knock them both down. And we'll just focus on you. And yeah, let's throw an encourage out while we're at it. Uh, yes, 99 is the max. As for hard caps, um, the soft cap is 50. Damn it, I gotta remember to move behind my fucking targets. Oh well. Oh, I want to try the chicken thing. So, what we... Rupture tendons, turn him into a chicken. <laughs> Kill you. And just go ham on this guy. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's fun. I like that. 
Get behind him. And do some stabbing. 2,400 experience for killing him. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Thought I looted you. Weird. Yuck, oil, gross. Why do you guys have a Magister's Key? What's that about? I don't understand. I think 60 is the hard cap for most stats. Uh, the 50 is when they stop scaling well, uh, but they do continue to scale up your damage. I think the difference between 50, uh, having like, let's say skill at 50 and having s your skill at 99 is about a 15% damage increase. So it's not huge, but it is definitely something. It's definitely not nothing. All right, do we want to fight the Magisters out here? I think I do. I want that XP. What level are you guys? Level four? And there's five of you. Ooh. 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 Let's actually split the damn party. Um, gonna have you go up there. We're gonna have you go up there. We're gonna try and kill these two bowmen right off the bat. And yeah. Alright, let's see what happens. Killer. Damn. Oh, as a bonus, I don't think that dog can get up here because dogs don't do well with ladders. Uh, let's go ahead and knock you down. Okay, can't. Let's just knock you down this way. Uh, except for Arcane and Endurance. Arcane continues to scale all the way up to 99. Um, so if you use, uh, like, the Exe's Glove or anything like that often, it's worth putting points into Arcane earlier. And Endurance is definitely going to be the last stat you want to max out. Uh, you just get it to 40 and then leave it there for last, because it doesn't really do much beyond that. Let's... Can I... Too far away? What? Bullshit. Let's stay up here. I don't want to deal with the dog. Let's give haste to our friend. God, you have so much armor. Gross. And, ooh, why don't we just go invisible? <laughs> Bitch. Forgot how boring farming is. Yeah. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Alright. Let's finish him off. Let's encourage the France. Alright, he's gonna get out of her face. That's good. Have there been earthquakes in Cali? Huh. I guess we just don't get earthquakes where I live. Maybe they're more like on the coast or something. Alright. Let's open up on the doggo. Let's go ahead and... Get a little bit of extra AP. Rupture tendons and turn the dog into a chicken. Now it should kill itself as it runs around. <laughs> Stupid dog. That's a fun combo. I like that. That combo is literally the reason I wanted to do this build. <laughs> All 
Okay, this should be pretty straightforward from here. Just a good old tank and spank. Hey, Wolfie, have you watched Darling in the Franks XX? I have not. That's uh, anime, right? I haven't seen it on any of the platforms that I watch TV on, so... Can you just... Oh, okay, nice. Got the knockdown. Stab. Stab. Oh, the dog didn't die. Shit. Alright. Oh, don't miss, you idiot. Alright, that's fine. We got healing potions if we need them. It's on Hulu? Okay. I'll try and give it a watch. I'm always down for a new anime. Let's haste you. Um, let's try and burn this target down. Magister Timory. Sure. All adrenaline for that. And let's give Losa a little restoration. You can't do shit, dog! Because you don't have thumbs. And we should be able to knock this one down. Boris. Magister Boris. Let's just use first aid. Top off our health. Not that we need it, but you know. Just in case. It's in dub and sub. Ooh, I like that. I like not having to read subtitles. I know I'm a bad weeb, but... I just like it, okay? <laughs> Stupid dog. Alright, nicely done, me. Keys. More keys. Ooh, hello. Oh, intelligence gear. Can't use it. Bama. What's the show about? Can you give me a little bit of the premise? Try and sell me on it. Fair warning, you will fall in love with Best Girl if you're liking me, LOL. Oh, that happens every time I watch an anime. So many lovely waifus out there. Alright, we are inside the Magister's Castle. The slaughter continues. These boys up here. I think I actually meant to adjust uh, huh, I guess it's already up at a hundred percent voice master yeah whatever it's fine it wasn't too quiet in the vods it was just it could have been louder the uh, the dialogue uh, the dialogue. Oh, we gotta we gotta save Paladin Cork so I can kill him myself. The filthy Paladin. Uh, why don't we just just do two AP? God, if I go over there, they're just gonna unload on me. Fuck it. I think we'll be fine. If we take too much damage, we can always Chameleon Cloak and dip out. Ooh, got the Tactical Retreat now. Great, great skill. Gives me a free haste for one turn and movement utility. Very good.
Fuck you, don't throw oil at me, bitch. Uh, romance sci-fi mecha anime. Interesting, I do love sci-fi. It's basically Trigger in a nutshell. Oh, you don't say. Studio lighting is burning a hole in my retinas. It's time to go smooth gore. like to finish this lad off. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, I could turn him into a chicken. Do rupture tendons. It's probably not a bad idea. And we'll haste ourselves. Get behind you. Get all of the action points. Stab you, and then... Knock you down. And for some reason, not deal damage to that guy. That's fine. It's only 10.50, but it feels so much later. Well, when you must sleep, I understand. Right, that should be enough to kill a chicken. Let's move you up here. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. That's fine. That is just fine. Let's encourage. Oh shit, that actually knocked the chicken down, which we don't want, because we want the chicken to move around. Yeah. Alright. Well, you learn. You live, you learn. Paladin Cork is getting fucked up. Don't think we'll be saving him this playthrough. That's fine. Uh, fuck you and your goddamn attacks of opportunity. Let's finish off Low Ranger. And I think we will Chameleon Cloak. Oh, you're dumb. You're so dead. There's nothing I can do to save you. You kill yourself, right? I think so. Alright, let's just beat this guy up. Oh, shit. Oh, that stupid CC messed me all up. I really shouldn't have done it like that. Hey, Dakota donated $10. Thank you, Dakota. How are you? Didn't know you were in chat. How's it going, man? Thank you for the $10. I really appreciate it. Really, really do. Let's, uh... Blink behind this guy. Teleport you. Right here. Should kill him. Deal a little damage to the other chap. And that should finish him off. Nice. So we got three Magisters left. I'm not looking good in the physical armor department, but that's fine. We don't need it. Wolfie! Batushas! How are you, my friend? And Dark Dragon's Fury. Tired work has been hell, dude. Sorry, but hopefully I can help you relax. Grab a brewski, put your feet up, and watch some slow turn based combat. Oh, baby. Double knockdown! Fuck. Close. Let's 
go for... Who needs haste? I'm gonna put haste on you. Gonna heal Losa a little bit. Get behind this bad boy. Hopefully no attack of opportunity. Nope. We're good. That'll be turn. Good, good, yes. Attack her. Gotta head to bed here in just a bit, unfortunately. Ah, bummer. Well, um... Fortunately, my work, uh... Is on a bit of an easy stretch, so I will be streaming a lot more uh, in this and the coming months, hopefully, unless work gets crazy again, which it eventually will. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably be here on Twitch tomorrow. If nothing else, I'll... Oh, one health, you son of a bitch. If nothing else, I'll be on YouTube on Friday for a Bloodborne stream. So there's that. Does this emote look stupid? What is it? Is that... It looks like a raccoon with a heart above its head. It's really small on the monitor up there. I can barely tell what it is. Oh, jeez. They just did a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and pop a heal on Sybil. Uh, we're gonna tactical retreat right up into your face. Smack and cripple. Plastered stone, but good, my man. Just came home from a work happy hour. <laughs> it's cooler than I make it sound. Hey, it sounds pretty cool. I ain't judging. How about you? Dude, I'm good. I'm just chilling. Uh, low stress day at work after a fucking four day weekend, so chilling. And yeah, found this new game called Divinity Original Sin 2 that I'm absolutely in love with. Adrenaline. Hey! I guess that worked out just fine. Yeah, we might as well flesh sacrifice while we're at it. Yeah, dude, I'm just chilling, man. Nothing really new. Works finally chilled out. Playing a lot of Divinity. Happy to be streaming again. Not that I ever stopped, but happy to be streaming a lot again. Oh, come on! Heal the thing. There we go. Leveled up the characters. One, another heart fight out of the way. I'm playing the first one, love it. I heard this one is even better. I never played the first one, but uh, I just kinda, this one just kinda randomly fell into my lap and totally love it. Love it, love it, love it, it's super fun. Loving everything about it, to be honest. All right, so we got another level, so we're going to have to take a minute to think about this. We've got... Oh, I should learn these. I know I need more memory slots. So I think we're just going to dump memory, memory, and then here, I want more damage, I think we'll pick up Necro on Losa. So for you, I think we're going to put... points into dual wield. On Losa, we're going to put some points into Necro. Memory and memory. And that should be more than enough memory slots on both of them for a while. Oh yeah, way more than enough, actually. I was kind of dumb. I forgot I didn't have a lot of skills on her. But actually, she just picked up Necro, so we can learn all of these which are useful. Bloodsucker, sure. Infect, sure. Shackles, sure. Let's 
So we don't have any Geo or Hydro. We don't care about any of those. Uh, yeah, all of that looks good. So let's just make sure these are the skills that we want. Uh, Death Wish is cool. I want that. Let's just scooch that down. I haven't really enjoyed Shackles when I've used it. It sounds good on paper, but it just doesn't tend to work out the way I want it to ever. Infect skills with intelligence, so I don't think I want to worry about that. That all looks good. Let's come over to you. And now we can pick up Cloak and Dagger. Move around a little easier. Uh, sawtooth knife. Throwing dagger. Peace of mind. Happy with your level right now? Time to time for the Great Lake rune. Nice. Oh. Beard heart. That emote is perfect. Where was this when I was 12 type of love it? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's good, though. That's all I can say is it's a really, really fun game. Let's put Sawtooth there. Throwing knife. Rupture tendons. Chicken. Let's just put these guys over there. Utility, buffs, movement, and healing. Okay. Then you have... Yeah, this works. Alright, cool. Let's see if we got any upgrades. I have a bunch of body parts I need to eat. Weird sentence, but you know. It's true. Ooh, a ring. And a strength helmet. Dope. It's not a bad two-hander, but probably not better than what we have currently. So many keys. Ooh, Carpenter's Axe. I can sell that. Sure, I'll take your stupid cup. Alright. Um... Over to gear. So we got a strength helmet for you. That's excellent. Both our characters have good helmets now. And we could drop a point in the yellow ring here. So she gets a point in Huntsman. Which means that we could actually take heal or first aid if we wanted it. If we wanted to drop something. And I think. I might actually drop throwing knives for that. I don't think throwing knives is going to give us very much right now. So nice. We have two heals on her, which is very good. And we just need to loot this area. Uh, healing potion. Yes, please. And, uh, so much stuff. What is this? Can we pick the lock? A hey, strong girl. Move this. Thank you. Ooh. A shield. Yeah. Ooh, a chest. Crossbow, not going to use it, but we can sell it. No complaints. Oh, not a bad chess piece sitting over here randomly. And there's a great view of all the people that we mercilessly, mercilessly slaughtered. That's always satisfying. 
Who is Nabora and why does she have a marker on my map? Oh, nails. I want that. And, ooh, a chest. We got some strength gloves. Nice. Some finesse leggings. Again, nice. Two upgrades there. So we can throw the leggings onto you. Eh, not much of an upgrade, but still. Nice glove upgrade, though. Cool, cool. Oh, yes. All the nails. I need all the nails. I really don't like uh, that my strength character isn't my main character. Because by default, I come back to Sybil for moving around and doing things. But she's not strength-based. So I'll start looting stuff on her, but then I'm like, oh, she has no carry weight because she's not strength-based. And then I switch over to fucking Losa, and I end up with a fucking inventory that looks like this. And it's a mess, and it's split between two characters. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, is fine, but I'm a little OCD. I would like to have all the stuff on Losa. What are you doing? Look in the barrel. Don't throw the barrel. You silly goose. Somebody's on fire down there. What's happening? The fuck? Oh! That's the prick uh, that I did the quest for. Uh, with the crocodiles, and I teleported him across the thing. He was trying to sneak out, and he got caught by the Magisters. And now they're beating him to death with their bare hands. That's satisfying. Asshole. Kill him. I want to see if I get XP for this. Come on, kill him. Oh, no XP for me. That's fine. It'd be weird if it did. I was just curious. Maybe if I'd gotten down there quick enough, but... Ah, well. Fucking hell. I gotta go to the Isses Chalices. Oh, yeah, those ones are saucy. Gotta fight all the little fucking aliens. All the little Squidwards. But if you're just there for one rune, you shouldn't have to go too deep. Ooh, chest. Those nails. I need all the nails. It's important to me. Alright, so do we want to go do this dock area? Probably, since we're in the neighborhood. I'll take that. Oh, but actually, what we're going to do... So we're going to go across this here bridge that we just dropped. Because we have this little black cat with us right here. That's been following us around. And that cat gives us a quest to make it out of Fort Joy, which we just technically the did. The cat purrs loudly as it curls itself around your ankles. Looks like you've got yourself a new pet. Yep. So we got a shit ton of experience from that. And now we actually have a skill to summon the cat. And it's kind of a fun little uh, utility skill. You take a deep breath. You have escaped Fort Joy at last. Yep. We move from one shadow into the next. Death keeps grinning at us with a thousand mouths. Out of the prison camp into the bog. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. Hell yeah, girl. I got your back. Um... Alright, escape Fort Joy. That seems like a good place to stop. For this YouTube episode, obviously if you're watching this on Twitch live, we are going to be continuing 
But if you are watching this on YouTube, that is it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. I appreciate you, boo. Beardheart, and I'll see you here next time.